Ferrari Roma. What's the Roma? It must be some new model they've got. Yeah, coming. yeah, I, I saw. That got my stock here actually. Mark's got very little stock. Yeah, it's a stock. Well, they've sold out. People have just. See, my my company is like I've just. Hey guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury coming to you live from Melbourne and today guys I want to talk about what is my favorite Rolls Royce and I'm down, down uh, at the dealer. Uh, this car in front of us is a Rolls Royce Silver Ghost. This is kind of the baby in the range now but it's, it's, uh, it's certainly no baby V12 big monster. So I got to say, which Rolls Royce is my favorite? Which Rolls? And I've got to say, I love the spirit of ecstasy on the grill there. The, uh, my dream Rolls Royce would be this Phantom. Look at this Phantom. This is the latest incarnation of the Phantom. And I think this is gorgeous. I love the massive wheels. I love the, the grill, the aerodynamic grill there. Uh, I even love this color. This is kind of a very nice metallic -y black. It's very rich. You can really get lost in the luster of this paint. Um, I think a Phantom would be a fantastic choice. Phantom is more of a car to be chauffeured around in. It's, uh, it's the big boy. This is uh, in Australia. It's over a million dollars. Um, there is the SUV, if you want an SUV. The Cullinan, uh, not really my, ooh, the Ghost. Look at the Ghost. I love the Ghost. This is a V12 powered critter. Look at the spirit of ecstasy. What, what, a, what an amazing thing. The Ghost itself there, what do I think? It's probably, this is kind of the best driver's kind of Rolls Royce to have. I uh, love those suicide doors. Look at the beautiful blue there. This is a beautiful, beautiful Rolls Royce, the Rolls Royce Ghost. I've got to tell you, I started uh, chauffeuring just so I could drive Rolls Royces. I drove a few Spirits um, and, sorry, some Shadows. And here is the, the Corniche version of the Shadow. This is a, um, this is a Series 1 from the Chrome Bumpers. And this is Rolls Royce's convertible of the 70s. The Corniche made an appearance in the Thomas Crown Affair as a as a hardtop, which was also called a Corniche to confuse matters. Here's a Rafe. Look at this Rafe. This is a sports a sports demon. Hand painted pinstripe. That orange pinstripe is not a sticker. No super sticker here. This is hand done by a Rolls Royce specialist who just does the painting. I've got to tell you, I do love Rolls Royce. Um, the SUV, what do I think? Ah, uh, no. No, I'd, I'd probably look at this Rafe in the... This is the Dream Fulfillment Studio. Look at that Rafe at the back there. What a gorgeous... That That's probably the most beautiful two-door car in the world. It's not small. It's gorgeous. You could be quite cosseted. I'd love to go on the Great Ocean Road in this Rolls-Royce here. Look at the two-tone, the grey and the dark royal blue. What a killer combination and um, it's gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. You cannot say anything. Uh, look at this. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, Lung A1 and Rolls Royce. Yes, sir. Um, I've, I've got to say, I've got a soft spot for these girls. These Beautiful handmade cars. What a, a wonderful, wonderful thing here. I'm down at Rolls Royce of Melbourne and I'm just going to have a sit in the Dream Fulfillment Studio. This is where you sit down, you have an expensive drink, and you talk to your consultant about what colors, what options. Uh, you get to pick the color. If it's a two tone, you get the two colors. If it's a, um, uh, you get to pick the, the upholstery, what, what color. 
you get to pick the sort of wood you would like in any options any preferences it is all customizable uh obviously it's a massive 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 premium for the um the tailor-made experience personally i might just take this phantom if i had the money this this here is pretty damn good i love that metallic -y black what a winner winner chicken dinner color the big wheels it's it's gorgeous absolutely absolutely gorgeous um rolls royce this is the best the patek philippe of the car world rolls royce and i've got to say i've 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 always loved rolls royce um i think in the modern era i'd probably say the ghost would be more my cup of tea not that i can afford it not that i can afford such a beast um but i gotta say you know when it when it comes to what is my favorite rolls royce i really love the silver seraph the silver seraph that's kind of my rolls royce shape that i really really love um i was down at dutton's dutton's garage before we went to rolls royce and i was interested to uh, see they kind of had my dream rolls royce this is a car from from the the early late 90s early 2000s the silver seraph and uh same as the bentley or Narge. the shape is the same as the bentley or Narge. however i think the engines might have been different bmw makes the engines for the rolls royce and and uh bentley went with uh audi audi makes makes uh but some models had bmw engines in the bentley as well i gotta say this classic mercedes is is my favorite kind of classic car but when it comes to rolls royce this is the previous phantom which is nice but I love the Seraph, especially this is my favorite color, the metallic -y blue. I think this is it. This this is it, the silver Seraph. Uh, that's my favorite Rolls Royce. I think it's it's got a bit more of it's a bit smaller than the, the Ghost or the Phantom. It's got a very, very uh, beautiful look. So winner winner chicken dinner. Um, I think the the silver Seraph is the winner. The, the Phantom is a bit beefy, bit beefy. But uh, there you go, guys. That's my favourite Rolls Royce. Tell me what yours is. Comment below. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends. And I will see you in the next one. Rolls Royce. Hi guys, Archie Luxury. And who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for? quality pre-owned wristwatches david sw david sw david sw go to david sw.com he is the best the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the united states of america david sw david sw david sw Hey guys, Archie Luxury, who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co, that's correct. Vintage Watch Co in Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co, Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co. That is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co. and the guys' amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co. That is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co.